every week I help you find fun places to go with friends and family here in the Jacksonville area. I talk about local food, local craft beer, and local events. That's what I do. I know Jacks. Eat local, drink local, be local. Welcome to I Know Jacks. I'm Joe Talentino, and today I have a great show for you. I know you're probably busy planning for Christmas get-togethers, buying gifts, decorating your house, and all that stuff that comes with the holiday season. Now, personally, I'm just trying to get my work done before the holiday season's right here on me. In today's show, we're going to talk about desserts and sweet stuff. That usually comes with the holidays, right? Now, first, I wanted to thank all of you who came out to Bruise in Atlantic Beach for the I Know Jack's meetup. I had a great time and I also want to thank Phil, the gourmet realtor, who came and set up a delicious taco bar for everyone. But don't worry if you couldn't make it out because next week we're going to do a big party. We're having the I Know Jack's Christmas party at Bruise and Bartram Park on Wednesday, December 19th and I'll talk more about that later. First, let's talk about pie. Here's one of my favorite places in Jack's to go have a slice. High Heaven is a little slice of paradise tucked away in a small blue house on Mayport Road. Anita is making me their best-selling pie, the chicken pot pie. People like to eat healthy, you know, they don't want Heck yeah, chemicals just in their like food. they want it just like grandma made it. That's right. Only I mean, you know, God knows what she used. <laughs> right. I no idea what uh... I'm in Lard and all kinds of stuff. We're gonna use some chicken that's been um, it lived a nice happy life before it. <laughs> sacrificed itself. They didn't put any antibiotics in it. Yeah, I used to freak out when my mother said, yeah, your grandmother would go out and she'd cut the head off a chicken for breakfast. Yeah, we, we rang our chicken necks. We didn't cut them off. <laughs> yeah, that. Just a little crank like you're starting to model tea. Not a big deal. It's time for the heavenly spice mix. I smelled sage, rosemary, and pepper, I think. We lace our crust and the chicken with this, okay, so cool. this kind of is like layered. So it kind of permeates the throughout the yeah. whole thing. What was it that popped into your head that said, I want to make a pie shop? I was really craving pie. <laughs> Honestly. That's I where it started. That's really the truth. I mean, you know, I was in, in commercial insurance for like 25 years. Okay. And I had been laid off for uh, several times. This, this was a long right. stint, like two years. So I'm thinking, it's time to open a business. Right. But because I had been in the corporate world for so long, I thought, you know, stockbroker or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Then, I didn't connect the dots with this food business here. You know, I just wanted to eat. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually walking on the beach, talking to God, going like, hey, God, what kind of business can I start? And by the way, somebody needs to and, open a pie and shop because I really want pie. And and you pie. said, hi. Yeah, there was no place to go. <laughs> Linda and I had been friends for a long time, and I said, Linda, I'm going to go look at some equipment. I'm opening a pie shop. Did you know that I've been working catering for five years? Very I cool. had no clue. She's pretty awesome in the kitchen. I really couldn't do this without her. I've kind of noticed kinda that about that. Out, right? She's like, <laughs> You said you don't do kitchen work, though. Well, this part I can do. All right. Hot sauce. I love oh, my hot Lord sauce. Jesus, help us. <laughs> four splashes. Four splashes. Now, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'll tell you when. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Whoa, okay. I can smell the hot sauce. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely your pie. <laughs> You're taking this bad boy home. All right, let's just see how this works out here. Ready? It's a little, it's a little. A little hot. I did it straight. It's all right. Got a little kick? A little kick, but not. That's mild. What are you talking about? <laughs> Next, the roasted chicken breast is mixed in and it smells so good. Anita adds organic veggies to all that goodness. She prepares the crust. About three cups goes into each pie. This is a big pie with a lot of chicken. Last, she adds egg wash to the top and now the pie is ready to be baked. 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Exactly. Ish. Ish. I look at it. Every <laughs> pie has its own little personality. Depending on whether or not there's five pies in the oven well, or one pie. That's got some... This will be 40 minutes. Okay. Now you just get in there and bake. We'll see you in a little while. So I'm going to set the timer because, you know, we get just, to talk and I might forget. You might. <laughs> I know. I've done that. You know, and then you're out there ringing up somebody and they're like, 
I smell pie. Time's up. You ready? I'm ready for some chicken pot pie. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty. Now, besides this, what are the other types of pies that you guys do? You, you said... We do savories like quiche. There's a couple right. of quiches right there ready to go out the door to somebody. We do... And shepherd's pie, pie I heard, shepherd's right? shepherd's pie, yeah. I use Australian grass-fed antibiotic-free beef. Isn't that a mouthful? And I like that, it's though. Good. It's good. It's quite yummy. And then a lot of fruit pies, right? Lots. Like a gazillion, yeah. to we quote have Linda. Yeah, over four dozen kinds. Or was it 90 million? I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. Was it a billion? It was 90 million. Nine. 90 million. 90 million different That's types of pies. That's what just today. <laughs> yeah. Didn't that look great? Now I think I need a pie for Christmas. How about you? <laughs> Now, if you haven't been by the little shop on Mayport Road, make sure to do so. It's well worth a visit, and you can even get a slice while you're there. And if you do visit one of the businesses that I feature here on I Know Jacks, make sure to let them know that you found out about them through I Know Jacks, the TV show. It really helps. I just wanted to let you know that I'm now sending out The Insider every Tuesday. You'll get tips and ideas for cool things to do, plus you'll find out what I'm up to and where we're filming next that kind of stuff. You can subscribe to The Insider on my website at iknowjacks.com. Every week I take a look at what's happening in the craft beer scene in the Jacksonville area. I'm at Brews in Atlantic Beach and today I'm having a 23rd anniversary Imperial Golden Stout from Weyerbacher. Now we're getting closer and closer to the big day but let me tell you this is a big week as far as events are concerned because I have lots of fun craft beer events for you starting on Tuesday. Now I love Taco Tuesdays, but Brews is doing something different. Lucky Tuesday. Come to Brews here in Atlantic Beach, buy a pint, and you'll receive a $1 scratch off ticket. Now I usually don't win, but here you can't lose. It could be a windfall or you could just end up with a pint of delicious craft beer in your hand and either way, you win. It's Lucky Tuesday. This goes on while supplies last and only one time per person. So if I were you, I'd get here early. Brews opens at four. Holiday scratch off is Tuesday, December 18th at Brews in Atlantic Beach. The biggest event of this week is of course, the big I Know Jack's Christmas party that we're having on Wednesday, December 19th at Brews in Bartram Park. My friend Shane from Burn Ins Barbecue is doing the food for this one. So you know it's gonna be good. For 15 bucks, you can get all you can eat buffet of drunk chicken picking with a Southern Georgia Brunswick stew, dattle corn red plus one pint of craft beer, all for 15 bucks. Now that's a steal. Bring all your friends and we'll have a blast. The I Know Jack's Christmas party takes place at Brews and Bartram Park on December 19th, starting at 6 p.m. I know how many of you guys love your ugly Christmas sweaters. Now I'm not one of those guys. I never understood why people always want to dress up, but on December 21st, you can come out to Brews in Atlantic Beach to play Name That Tune, and this time it's the Ugly Christmas Sweater Edition. And that really just means that you get extra style points. This is a really fun game that I enjoy, so who knows, I might be here. The Ugly Sweater Name That Tune starts at 8 p.m. right here in Brews at Atlantic Beach. In Springfield, Crispy's, Hyperion, Main and Sixth, and Shantytown have come together for the second annual Crawl Before Christmas. This is a fun pub crawl when you visit the four places where they'll have drink specials and more going on. At Hyperion, they're releasing the Nor'easter, a robust porter, so you want to taste that. And in Main and Six, they're having an ugly sweater party. They will be showing Christmas movies all night long and jamming the tunes, and there will be special Christmas brews as well. So grab a bunch of your friends, dress up in your holiday finest, and go bar hopping. The crawl before Christmas takes place in Springfield, December 22nd. I'm super excited about our next event. This is definitely one of my favorite events of the year. It's the annual tapping of Coxacodal at Green Room Brewing. They'll have multiple treatments and one-offs at the Brewer's Bar, and of course you can buy bottles as well. Coxacodal is an imperial Mayan red with chocolate, poblano, and serrano peppers, as well as cassava root. It's my all-time favorite beer, so you know you're gonna see me there. And if you do, make sure to come up and say hello and talk to me about your favorite beers. Adam Latif of Puddle of Mud is going to be performing. Joystick Food Truck is going to be there. They're going to have giveaways, fun, and like I said, my all-time favorite beer from Green Room, 
Coxicodal Tapping happens on December 22nd starting at noon. That's it for local craft beer news in Jack's this week. For more tasty beers like the 23rd Annual Imperial Golden Stout from Weyerbacher, visit Brews at one of their two locations and check out more fun events at both Brews locations. Cheers. Our mission is to bring the best variety of ice cold craft keg beer to take home in a growler. The reason I started I Know Jack's many years ago was to try to showcase local businesses. Now I love good food and I don't mind great craft beer, handcrafted cocktails or a gl good glass of wine every now and then either. I always say that I have the best job in Jacksonville because I get to go to so many different restaurants and local places. I meet a lot of interesting people while doing that and since you're watching my show I think we have that in common, right? Most people who watch my show love going on local adventures, trying new restaurants and tasting different types of food. Now I'm pleased to see that there are more and more successful locally owned businesses. Too many chains or franchises and big box stores is just generic. We love unique, small, artisan, handmade stuff. Our motto at I Know Jack's is eat local, drink local, and be local after all. So I'm at Buddhist Thai Bistro with Noom, and we're gonna talk about these cheese tarts that you're making. Now, you make cheesecakes as well. Yes. This is not the same, right? This is the Hokkaido cheese tart. Okay, and Hokkaido is obviously a Japanese type of pastry, tart, yeah. pastry. Mm -hmm. but this is sort of with a twist, right? Yeah, it's a good blend between <laughs> the French pastry okay. and Japanese um, flavor. Okay, yeah. so tell me how it's made. It's um, basically made from cream cheese. Now, I understand this is something that you're starting now and you're gonna have a special for this over the Christmas holidays, is that right? Yes, uh -huh. so um, it's three fifty a piece. Okay. And uh, for holiday promotion, it's buy five and get one free. Buy five, get one free. Yeah. And you can say, I know Jack sent you and they might be nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> you might get some Thai tea. Yeah. That too. Oh, Thai teas are always great here, <laughs> by the way. So, What's interesting to me with your desserts is they're not overly sweet. Is that, I mean, is that a that's thing of our Asian? Asian? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's Asian pastries in general are just not sweet. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, what's the best way to eat it? Is it best to get it warm or is it, um, you were talking about you can put them in the freezer. Yes, uh -huh. so um, room temperature is going to um, be like creamy okay. uh -huh, feeling. And then um, if you keep it overnight, like keep it frozen overnight, it will be more thick dense and it's like ice cream. Tastes like ice cream, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't like that idea. Yeah. I love that idea. <laughs> so, yeah. so, okay, awesome. Can I taste one? Absolutely. So do you just peel the little? Yeah, I just get the... Point. See how I did that? Yeah. <laughs> it's come natural. I have a little practice there. <laughs> you can't keep me away from food. All right, good. Mmm. Yeah. It's like, fluffy. Fluffy. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very tasty. Thank you. I Know Jack's is a local show and a small business. We're a two-person team, it's me and my wife, Suzanne. Now the good thing about being small is I don't have a boss. Well, that's not true because I do work with my wife and she does have opinions about what I should do and how I should do it, but I work for myself. I'm not employed by a network or paid by a media conglomerate of some sort, so I can do the stories I wanna do without having to care if someone bought a lot of commercial time or something like that. Independence is the best thing about being small. Now the negative side, of course, is that I'm not getting a fat corporate salary. <laughs> the way I know Jax works is we sell sponsorships to the show, both for online and on TV. That's what pays for it. Now I love my job, which is good because I'm not gonna get rich doing a local TV show. But what I do have is the best job in Jacksonville, and I mean that. I just wanted to let you know that I'm now sending out The Insider every Tuesday. You'll get tips and ideas for cool things to do, plus you'll find out what I'm up to and where we're filming next, that kind of stuff. You can subscribe to The Insider on my website at iknowjax.com. 
We're getting closer and closer to Christmas Day and there are a lot of fun holiday events coming up this week. First, Jane Lynch is visiting Jacksonville. Now you probably remember her as Sue Sylvester on the TV show Glee. But I remember her from the great movie Julie and Julia where Jane Lynch plays Julia Child's sister. Julia Child is played by Meryl Streep and the two of them together to me are the most memorable scenes in the movie. Now the concert is called A Swinging Little Christmas. Jane Lynch is going to ring in the holidays with her songs from her brand new album. That's at the Ritz Theater and Museum December 17th at 7 p.m. Now on Tuesday, December 18th, there's a special Christmas tradition that happens in Springfield. The Holiday Bicycle Ride. It's an evening bicycle ride through the historic district to enjoy the holiday lights. Kids and Christmas decorated bikes are encouraged. The group will meet at the Bandstand in Clutho Park at 6 p.m. That's the Holiday Bicycle Ride, December 18th. On Wednesday, December 19th, we have the I Know Jack's Christmas Party, and this is going to be a great event. Burn Ends is coming out with barbecue, which goes great with craft beer. You get all you can eat barbecue and a beer for 15 bucks, but if you don't want to, you don't have to eat, just come out and join us. And just an FYI, if you're not a beer drinker, Brews has wine as well. The I Know Jack's Christmas party is taking place at Brews and Bartram Park on Wednesday, December 19th, starting at 6 p.m. Here's something to get you into the holiday spirit. There's just no Christmas without Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now you can see the whole story come to life at the Florida Theater in the musical with the same name. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is coming to the Florida Theater December 20th. Now for a lot of people, Christmas and Irish music go together like cream and sugar. And for those of you who are fans, there's a new show that celebrates 10 years of Celtic Thunder that's coming to town. This show contains a mix of both traditional and contemporary Irish songs, classic hits, love songs, and more. It's called Celtic Thunder X. Actually, that's Celtic Thunder 10, probably, right? The performance is taking place at the Times Union Center on December 20th. Here's another holiday performance that I always wanted to go to and sadly never made it to. It's the Moscow Ballet's Great Russian Nutcracker. This ballet is great for the family with world-class Russian artists, hand-painted sets, Russian snow maidens, and nesting dolls. That's at the Florida Theater, December 22nd. You don't want to wait to get your tickets for this one-day performance. That's it for this week's calendar. For more ideas about fun things to do, check out my post, Fun Things to Do in December, on iknowjacks.com. That's it for this time. Don't forget about our Christmas party at Brews and Bartram Park on December 19th. I hope you can come out and see us. I'll be back with a brand new episode of I Know Jacks next week, but until then, I'll see you on the internet.